Okay, so good day class. So this is actually just a supple supplemental video for our subject, wherein uh, I will be giving you some points regarding uh, our latest module. So our latest module, yung bago, yung pinaka latest pala, ay yung ating uh, chapter 2. For in our chapter 2 deals with mathematical so we have their mathematical language and symbols so uh as you may have remember on our discussion regarding uh, regarding the nature of mathematics, we have discussed that uh, they, they, there is a saying, uh, sinabi ni Galileo Galilei, or and he said that uh, mathematical or mathematics is a language by which the God uh, created the universe. So, in that concept, uh, you may know or you may you may think that mathematics is language okay so uh, in that we will be delving into that uh, side of mathematics where we will treat math mathematics as a language and some sort of symbol so bago tayo magsimula ayan uh konting paglilinaw lang ano so uh, this is actually another nature of mathematics when we say that uh, we are talking about mathematics mathematics is actually another set of language baga para siyang english para siyang uh, para parang filipino ganyan or parang ano lang din arabic okay same lang yun same lang yung thinking na yun dun sa mathematics at sa iba pang language so, when we talk about uh, the language part of mathematics, balik muna tayo rin sa usual natin yung lab. Let's say we have there the English language. So, let's start with English. So, sa English, or in English, uh, we have some thing or some uh, construct we call a sentence. Okay. So, Alam niyo naman, pag sinabi nating sentence, meron yung ilang parts. Ano? Uh, by ilang parts, kailangan yung construct na ito, itong kabuuan nung, ano natin, nung set ng words, ay hindi lang siya mag-stick as words. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, by definition of sentence, sentence is a collection of words that make sense. Parang gano'n. Okay, meron siya general thought. Per se. So, kumbaga, ang isipin natin, para magkaroon ng isang thought ang English or ang sentence, kailangan meron kang first, meron ka nung subject mo. Okay? Then, meron kang some sort of connector. Okay? Let's say, connector na ito. Okay? Let's say, plus or Tapos, another thing, uh, we have there our predicates. So, ganyan natin binubuo yung ating uh, sentence. Actually, dapat ito yung connector. So, ulagyan natin yung blue. Para hindi natin siya mistaken as uh, a symbol ng mathematics. So, this uh, connector may be a verb or a verb Yung mga is, are, mga ganun. Um, I don't know man. So, dyan, using this construct na makakabuo tayo ng sentence. Kasi kung baga, uh, sa math, parang ganyan din. So, in analogy with mathematics, we have their mathematics as a language. Ganito natin siya titignan. So, uh, if we have their subject and predicate, that is are actually uh, what we call in mathematics as expressions. Okay? 
expression plus some connectors, which is for, in this case, sa mathematics, ang ginagamit natin connectors, it may be equal, okay? It may be less than, greater than, and we have there another expression. In some sense, kasi kung iisipin nyo, class, parang ganun lang din yung sa English sentence. Meron kang, ano, uh, kaya lang siya makakabuo ng isang thought kasi meron kang pinagsamang mga words or sinasabi natin phrases. Yung phrases na yun, pag pinagtapat mo sila, uh, itinapat mo sila sa mga predicate which is just another set of phrases lamang, we will have there the sentence. So, dito, uh, kapag nagkaroon tayo ng ganitong set, we have their expression, pla, uh, tapos connected siya by equal, or less than, or less than ng equal, or uh, greater than, or greater than equal, tapos nakatapat siya sa, or uh, connect siya sa isang, ex isang expression. Yan na yung tinatawag natin mathematical sentence. So, para mo lang magkaroon ng sense. Ganito. So, pwede tayong, uh, kung titingnan natin, when we talk about mathematical sentence and expressions, ganito muna siya. So, kapag sinabi natin, ano ba, bigay ako number. Uh, let's say, uh, we have there. For a number, we have there, two. Two is an expression. Okay. So, let's say we have there 2x. 2x is just another expression. Kasi uh, kung titingnan mo, wala tayong value na may isa-set dito kasi hindi natin alam yung value ng x. Kaya ano naman kung ano, ano naman meron sa 2? So, another expression. So, kapag mo, meron kang 2x plus 1. That is just another expression. So, paano siya magiging sentence? So, doon na tayo gagamit ng equal natin. So, kumbaga, magiging sentence lamang yan to. Kapag siya ay dinagdagan natin, ito, yan yung magiging subject natin, yung to. Tapos, uh, gagamit tayo ng isang connector. Let's say, uh, yung ating greater than or equal. Greater than or equal, tapos lalagyan natin siya ng isa pang expression dito. So, Let's say we have there 2x minus 1. Okay? So, yan yung uh, pwede na natin i-consider na sentence. So, umaga, for this case, uh, we have there, this will be our predicate, ay, our subject, rather. This will be, uh, kung iniisip natin sa English, this will be our subject. And this whole portion, 2x minus 1, this will be our predicate. So, ganyan yung treatment natin dun sa mathematical language. So, nagkakaroon na lang tayo ng magkakaibang, ano, magkakaibang connectors or uh, symbols na ginagamit in case of uh, some, in case of treatment of, uh, nung ano doon sa ating mathematical language. Okay? So yun actually yan ang may makikita niyo rin sa inyong ano sa inyong module. So you can uh, look into that. So actually ang main focus talaga nung ano nung paggambala ko sa inyo ngayong araw ay yung uh, kasama doon sa activity natin. Okay? So yung sa activity kasi natin Doon sa activity natin, meron tayong kinonsider na ano, na dalawang types ng sentences or ng mathematical sentences. Okay? So, uh, doon sa dalawang types ng mathematical sentences, we have, uh, we have their types of mathematical sentences.
first, dun sa types ng mathematical sentences natin, andyan yung ating uh, close. We have there the closed, and we have there the open sentences. So, yun yung dalawang types ng sentences na describe dun sa, ano, sa module natin. So, let's say, tingnan natin ngayon kung paano natin madi-differentiate yung dalawang to. Usually, may shortcut naman sa pag-determine ng mga to, pero may ako naman sabihin. Or, actually, pwede hindi ko nasabihin, kaya na lang mo discover kung ano ba talaga yung pwede nating makita na difference between those two. So, ito yung ilang uh, mag-set ako ng isang, ito yung ito yung gagawin ko. Magbibigay ako ng uh, isang example ng close sentence, then, bibigay ako ng malapit-lapit na version ng binigay kong close sentence na open. So, ganito yung gagawin natin. So, one example ng isang closed sentence ay pwede nga nito. Pwede ito kasimple. Pwede tayo magkaroon dyan ng 2 is equal to 1. That is a closed sentence. Okay? Then, ah, kung gawa ko ng version yan na medyo, ano, medyo open, or let's say open mismo, you can have there, You can have there 2 is equal to x. This one is closed. This one is open. Okay. Another, uh, another sentences or another set of sentences. We have there uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. Then we have there, pwede yung open sentence ko ay 1 1 plus x is equal to 2. That is a, an, an open sentence. Okay? Another thing. So we have the halimbawa uh, 3 is Okay, muna ako na iba pang close sentence. We have there 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Okay? So, pwede rin yung so, meron tayong close. We have there <coughs> 3 Greater than or equal to 4x. So, up to this point, actually, uh, sa point na to, siguro naman nakikita nyo na kung ano yung difference ng dalawa yan. So, when we talk of a uh, closed sentence, it's just the thinking na sarado na yung sentence. Hindi ko na siya pwedeng baguhin. There is uh, nothing I can do with that sentence. Andyan na siya. Okay? Ang um, pwede na lang natin gawin dito sa ano, sa close sentences natin na to, ay eh, pwede natin determine yung tinatawag na truth value or yung uh, pagiging totoo ng sentences natin. So, alimbawa, dun sa first example natin dyan, uh, kapag kinonsider natin yan, or inisip natin yan base dun sa pagkakaalam natin, totoo ba na itong close sentence na to ay Two. Ay, yung totoo ba na ang 2 ay equal sa 1? Siyempre, hindi niyan totoo. So, ibig sabihin, yan ay incorrect. I-consider natin siya as false. Okay? Itong kasunod, makikita natin dyan, uh, kapag inisip natin yan, ang, ang 1 plus 1 is, in, is indeed equal to 2. So, that is true. Okay? Which means, ay true. Okay? So, another thing, pag tinignan natin to, 3 is greater than or equal to 2. That is actually also true. Okay? So, yun yung isa pang pwede nating tingnan 
nakaibahan ng closed sentences natin in comparison with open sentences. Dito kasi, uh, we have here some value na pwedeng mag-iba-iba. Okay? Yung x na yan, or itong x na to, ay pwedeng maging equal sa 2, which means magiging true yung statement. Pwedeng yung x na yan ay equal sa 1. So, pwedeng maging uh, false yung statement. Another thing, dito rin, sa baba. This is, again, an open sentence. Okay? So, kung ditingnan natin, uh, this can be true kapag yung x natin ay equal sa 1. Okay? Yung x ulit, ang titingnan natin, nagbabago-bago kasi yung value nito. So, pwede itong maging 0. Then, 1 plus 0 is equal, not equal to 2, which makes this sentence false. So, yun yung isang pwede nating makitang uh, kaibahan ng open sentences at closed sentences. When we talk about closed sentences, yung mga sentences na yan, ay pwede na natin directly makuha yung tinatawag natin na truth value. Okay? So, yun yung pwede natin makuha dyan agad, yung truth value ng buong statement. Kapag naman open statement, yun yung unknown. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin directly na true ito. Kasi maaaring yung x pala dyan ay equal sa 0. Yung x pala dyan ay equal sa 1 or kung ano man. Tapos dito rin, ganun. Hindi rin natin mag-determine agad kung yung statement na to ba ay true or false. Gawa ng presence ng x. Same yun with uh, dito sa last example natin. So, Sa last example natin, kung makikita nyo, uh, kapag yung value ng x natin dito ay equal sa 1, magiging true yung statement na to. Okay? Again, halimbawa naman, nagginawa kong 3 halves yung x. True pa rin siya, kasi 3 yung lalabas dito. Pero kapag ginawa na natin 2 yung value ng x, magiging 4 na itong side na ito. Okay? Or naging 4 yung side na yan, hindi na magiging true yung statement. Kasi ang 3 ay less than sa 4. So, yun yung sinasabi natin. Again, uh, one major uh, difference of closed, uh, closed sentences and open sentences ay yung pagkuha natin ng truth value. Okay? So, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of your Okay. And then sa activity 6, you need to determine whether uh, yung mga statements natin or yung mga sentences na binigay sa atin ay isang open sentence or isang closed na sentence. Also, kapag close yung sentence, kailangan natin i-determine yung truth value. So, kapag yung open, hindi na natin kailangan gawin yun. Kasi hindi nga natin alam kung ano yung uh, value na yun. Kasi open nga siya. It, uh, yung sentence natin ay open sa pagiging kung ano mang number. Okay? So, I guess that will be all. Our, oh, I will be just providing another video. Regarding uh, next na pwede nyong ikalito dyan ay uh, the next will be yung uh, anong tawag na dito? Next, next video will be on uh, transforming mathematical sentences. By uh, transforming uh, mathematical sentences, we will be transforming uh, tinatawag natin literal, literal banta. Yeah. Uh, we'll be transforming mathematical sentences into uh, into English sentences and vice versa. English sentences to uh, math sentences. So, yun yung gagawin natin. Or, ituturo ko sa inyo sa next video. Bye.